Crap. Remove, delete, delete, shred, shred, shred. Watch Nick McD dot TV. Watch it religiously. So you've decided to reform your life and delete your slash B folder. Or maybe you just have some very sensitive information that you want to get rid of permanently and make it unrecoverable. Perhaps you're giving away your hard drive, or you work for the government and you have to delete the stuff about the aliens. Whatever it is, you want to get rid of it and you want to make it unrecoverable. So how do you go about doing that? Now, there's a couple ways. The first way Ubuntu and a lot of other Linux distributions comes with this pre-installed is called Shred. Now, there's some other utilities I'm going to show you guys how to install and use them, but let's talk about Shred first. Okay, now the first thing we're going to talk about is Shred. Now it's pretty easy, just type in Shred. This is already installed on Ubuntu, and I believe it's installed on Fedora, and probably a lot of the other distros too. And then type in the, the file. So first let's look at the file. So we're going to... Okay. It's called, the file is called alienlanding.txt, and you can see it says the aliens have landed in my backyard last night. I got probed, which was no fun, but we're not going to talk about that. So to shred it, type in shred. Oh, S-H-R, sorry, I got to spell it right. Shred, alien landing. Now that completely shredded the file, it's gone. Now if we do a less of alien landing, you can see it's a binary file. It overwrote all the data. It didn't actually remove it though. To to do a shred with a remove, type in shred the file, oh, I'm sorry, dash u, which means remove after you're done, and a dash z, which will write all zeros, which will try to hide the shredding in case someone is actually, you know, looking at your data to see what you have. A dash z will try to hide the fact that it was shredded. And we'll type in alien landing and now it is gone. See, nothing there. Uh, the last thing is the shred will do default three times overriding the data with random characters, um, random zeros and ones. If you want to change it to maybe like 25, type in shred, and it's going to be a dash n, yep, dash n, and then 25. And then you can do the dash u, and then dash z, uh, you know, whatever, and then, you know, that'll work. Now, a lot of people think that the more times you use shred or the more times it overwrites the data, the more um, you know messed up it gets and the harder it is to recover, and that is the truth. But I was reading this article and it was saying that after two times of overwriting it, there's only a 3% chance of recovering anything that's good. So for the average person, the three times with shred should be fine. Now, if you're kind of crazy paranoid and people are after you or you think people are after you, you might want to do it more times because the more sophisticated equipment you have, the, the more the easier it is to recover the data. Well, I guess it's not easy, but the more data you can actually recover. So three times is good for normal people. If you're crazy paranoid, maybe do 10 or 15. Now the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is part of the secure delete package. So to install that, type in sudo apt git install secure delete. Hit return, type in your password, blah, 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 install it. It's already installed. That's going to give you a couple of commands. The first one is secure remove. Now, this will permanently delete files and directories. I don't think shred will delete directories. So this is kind of like the remove, but securely. So to use secure remove, just type in secure remove and then the direct or this the file name. So you can type in secure remove, secure remove aliens.txt. Or if it's a directory, you know, this is just like remove command, dash R for recursive, remove the directory. You also get secure, it's called smem, and now this one will delete all of, everything on your RAM disk. So if you're extremely paranoid, you can, you know, because files do get kept in your RAM, and if you are, you know, a law enforcement agency or someone that's trying to get a hold of information of yours, they can go through your RAM and grab different data files. So this will do a uh, completely erase your memory. S fill. Now what this does is it will delete everything on your, all your free space. It'll write, it, it write, makes this file called 00000.00 and it overwrites your entire free space. And it'll do this like 38 times. Now I did talk to you guys a second ago, you don't need to do it 38 times. Now if you just do like a S fill dash L, which will only do it two times that we talked about this, this will probably make it 
only 3% recoverable, which is extremely safe for the average user still. So do SFIL dash L and then your mount point, which is slash or slash home, wherever, and you hit return. And this is gonna take forever. Now, if you have a large SATA drive like I do, I mean, we're talking about a couple days. And if you have an IDE drive that's large, I mean, we're talking about days and days and days. So use this one, uh, you know, with caution. Now the last one is called S swap. Now this will erase everything in your swap memory. Now if you're if you're always writing to your swap drive, you want to get rid of all graphics mode so you don't use up your swap. So to use this, first find out what your swap drive is by do cat slash uh, proc swap. And you can see mine's SDA six. So just do uh, sudo swap off slash dev SDA six. It's going to ask you for your password. So we now have swap turned off. Now you can run the command on it, which is going to be sudo uh, s swap, and then just do dev sda6. And run that. Like I said, this is going to take a long time. So if you have the patience, run it. You know, go ahead and run it on there. And then to turn swap back on, type sudo sw swap on slash dev sda six well mine sd6 whatever yours is and now your swaps back on Now those are how to completely remove files permanently from your computer now one reason why you might want to use this is, is if you're giving a hard drive away to like a friend or selling it or it's going to be somewhere where you don't want people to recover your data is you want to completely format the hard drive then run s fill on it on on wherever you met your drive to on your machine this will erase everything on there but like I said, it's going to take a long time. So use it with caution. Now, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. And remember, nickmcd.tv has written instructions on how to do everything talked about here.